I think before I answer any of those questions, I, I should probably eat a Reaper. Hey, what's going on everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans and today we have a very, very, very special video. A deep dive into the twisted mind of pepper growing legend Smoke and Ed Curry brought to you by our friends from Bonnie Plants. Now if you've seen the show before, you've heard me mention Smoke and Ed Curry. I think I've called them the Michael Jordan of hot chilies. On not one, but two occasions, I've eaten a Carolina Reaper along with my friend Chili Klaus. And then of course, week over week, you see guests struggling with the last Dab Apollo. Recently, Ed teamed up with Bonnie Plants to make it easier than ever for pepperheads to grow their own hot peppers. If you're a do-it-yourself type of spice lord, you can now get four of Smokin' Ed's pepper plants delivered to your door exclusively from BonniePlants.com. So without further ado, let's delve into the mind of one of the pepper world's most feared and revered characters, Smokin' Ed Curry. Smokin' Ed Curry, welcome to the show. Thank you, Sean. It's an honor. You grow a lot of amazing peppers at Pucker Butt. I've tried many of them. I've tried many of the sauces, but I think for Hot Ones fans, the thing they know you for best is the Carolina Reaper. When you started growing that pepper, was the idea to set a Guinness World Record for the spiciest pepper? Or was it more like you started building a car and then it turned into a rocket ship? It was more like building a car and turning it into a rocket ship. I was just looking to raise a subcapsinoid level on peppers when I invented the Carolina Reaper. But we were already making hot sauce and I got this pepper this year and I was like, I ate it and I was like, whoa, I felt high for the first time in like three years, <laughs> you know? And then boom, I had my buddy Brett come over and eat it. He threw up, you know? So I knew I had something there. We went and got it tested that year, and that first year it turned out at 1.275 million Scoville heat units. Now that was the unstable pepper. That was just the start of the process to stabilize and actually get a genetically stable pepper. How would you explain what a capsinoid is? And, and talk to me like I'm five years old. Those are the compounds that our body perceives as heat through a chemical reaction with a nerve called a TRVP1 receptor. Uh, there's no actual heat, so it's just those are the compounds that we perceive as heat from peppers. In regards to peppers, is it true that it's the seeds that make them hot? Uh, no, that's a fallacy. It's the tissue that's attached to the seed called the placenta that contains the capsinoid. On the topic, are there any other spicy misconceptions that you can debunk? One is that peppers are hot. Uh, they're not hot. It's a chemical reaction that our brain perceives as heat. So a pepper cannot burn a hole in your esophagus or your stomach. Usually it's the crap that you're eating that is doing that to you. These peppers, they have crazy names. Carolina Reaper, Trinidad Scorpion, Apocalypse Red. They all sound like they're straight out of a superhero movie. How do you go about naming peppers? Mostly what we do is we eat peppers, we, we wind up getting a pepper buzz, and then we start throwing stuff back and forth as a team. Or one of the kids actually will name it, like the, the apocalypse I know came from a child because they thought it was the end of the world when they tried it. What do I have to do to get a Sean Evans pepper? You just tell me the word and the next one is yours. <laughs> My guy. The next one is yours. I've heard you mention that it can take up to 10 years to lock in a crossbreed. So are you thinking about your spice game chess moves like decades ahead? We do anywhere between 100 and 120 crosses every year. Uh, just so one or two of those will make it through the 10 year cycle. Some years a few more do, some years none of them do. But I'm already planning what's going to happen in the 2030s and the 2040s and what I'm gonna pass on to my kids. So I'm very curious about the Peppers arms race. You know, uh, how important is security? How much are you guys at each other's throats? Can you, can you break that down for me? Because that's probably what I'm most fascinated by when I speak to you. One thing that happened, one of the other breeders claimed to have went into a field and stole Pepper X. They actually took pictures of the field, but it was, not a f it was only a field we grew chili de arbo and jalapenos in. But that was serious enough that the local police, the state police, the postal service, and uh, the FBI all got involved because it involved interstate and 
international fraud. How did the partnership with Bonnie Plants come to be, Ed? Bonnie has been a part of my family since I can remember. My mom grew up in the South, and Bonnie Plants were always in our garden. So it was kind of a, it was kind of a childhood, uh, you know, heartwarming memory to have those people come to me and say, supply us with peppers, you know? I'd like to know more, more detail about how to grow a Carolina Reaper. But before we get into that, I know, Ed, that you are ever the showman. Uh, what do you have going on there? Well, we might have a little Bonnie plant here with a little <laughs> bit of Reaper on it. And I think before I answer any of those questions, I, I should probably eat a Reaper. No time like now. There it goes. Now that your temperature is rising a little bit, Ed, can you talk us through step-by-step step, in as much detail as possible how to grow a Carolina Reaper starting with uh, the seedling? Make sure that you water the plant, okay? They need dirt, <laughs> they need water, and they need light, okay? They can live with just that. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Second one's a charm. So fill it up with miracle Grow organic potting soil. You can bury the plant until maybe four inches is showing. Excuse me. <laughs> and when you see flowers start coming out, you don't have to worry about pollination. They pollinate themselves. It's beautiful. Nature tells you what the plant's supposed to look like. So just let it grow. My mouth is on fire, I'm drooling, my nose is running, my eyes are watering, but I'm getting a good buzz and I'm enjoying life. You know, uh, uh, before we get you out of here, I do want to hit you with uh, some rapid fire questions. You know, uh, now that I have you in the proper state, uh, how many Carolina Reapers do you think that you've eaten over the course of your life? 15 years. At least three a day, 25,000. What is the most overrated pepper and which one is the most underrated? The most overrated pepper, in my opinion, is the Maruga Scorpion. It tastes like poop. Underrated one is the Chocolate Scotch Bonnet. It's the best cooking pepper there is. Is there a good on-ramp for people who are maybe novices but curious about spicy food? Is there a good way to on-ramp them? Yeah, get the classic hot sauce from Hot Ones. Just make some rice and beans. Put a little bit in there and use it as a side dish. Your body will get used to the heat and you will get used to the flavor and you'll crave more. Ed, why should people buy with Bonnie plants and with Smoke and Ed Curry rather than just going out, getting their own seeds and doing it themselves? All right, that's a twofold question, Sean. One is germination. A lot of people have trouble germinating pepper seeds. Uh, Bonnie takes that out of the equation. They do all the germination for you. The second one is that peppers take approximately 150 days to produce fruit. So Bonnie is also taking the first 75 days out of that process for you and providing a plant that's only 75 days away from producing fruit so you can enjoy that fruit for a longer period of time. And if you want to get your hands on all four of Ed Curry's pepper plants, Smokin' Ed's, Carolina Reaper, Apocalypse Red, Orange Butch Tea, and Yellow Scotch Bonnet, bonnieplants.com to pick up yours. Smokin' Ed Curry, always such a blast. Happy I got a chance to catch up to you. Let the people know what you have going on in your life. We're getting ready for a whole new season with body plants and a whole new season with the hot ones. I just want to tell you guys I love you, God bless you, and I look forward to getting your world more spicy. That's my guy. That's my guy. One time you were filming at the Hot Sauce Expo, and I said, here, try this. And you, you looked at the camera and said, if Ed Curry pulls something out of his pocket and says, try this, don't do it.